at least 20 rockets and three drones attacked U.S. base in Iraq. The attack reportedly involved both rockets and missiles. Sources said at least 20 rockets and three drones were used. This would make it the largest attack so far on U.S. forces and on Air Beal. Iran has used cruise missiles and drone combinations in the past, attacking Saudi Arabia's Abqa in 2019 with missiles and drones. Footage in Air Beal showed a fire and sirens as the attack unfolded. The airport was said to be closed due to the attack. Qatayb Hezbollah had warned in recent days it had underground hidden rockets it could use. The major attack will force the Biden administration to consider a retaliation. It is believed that pro-Iran militias have large stores of rockets and drones as well as ballistic missiles in Iraq and Syria. U.S. President Joe Biden ordered airstrikes on pro-Iran militias in Syria in late June in response to the drone attack near Erbil that struck near a site for the U.S. consulate. The militias vowed to respond and fired a salvo at U.S. forces in Syria near Omar Royal Field. Rumors said another attack near Omar unfolded on July 4 but the U.S.-led coalition denied that attack. The Air Beal attack would therefore be the third attack in 36 hours. This is a major escalation by pro-Iran groups that seek to eject the U.S. from Iraq. There have been around 50 attacks since the beginning of the year, increasingly involving drones.